Hi, my name is Casey and welcome to the Sales University Gambit Auditorium located here at the University Gambit Center. Today I'm going to show you how to properly use the technology in this auditorium, how to shut everything down and preserve the life of the equipment. The Gambit Auditorium has an integrated audio-visual system and everything can be controlled from the podium in the front of the room. The main items you'll find at the podium are the control panel, a podium microphone, a computer and monitor, a Blu-ray player, a document camera, laptop connection cables, and a phone for emergencies. In the drawer below, you'll also find a handheld microphone and a lavalier available for use. So now that you know what technology is available to you in the auditorium, let's show you how to use it. Here to begin, we'll touch the screen to wake it up. Next, decide whether you want to use the rooms combined or separately and choose accordingly. If the center wall is down, you'll choose this room only. If the wall is up, choose yes combined. This time, we're going to say this room only. This will start up the system projector and lower the projector screen. By default, the lectern computer will display over the projector. This is the home screen. From here, you can change projector display inputs, control the speaker volume, mute the microphones, turn the projector on and off separately from the system, and shut down the system entirely. Go to the utility screen if you want to raise or lower the shades, control the room lighting, or adjust the microphone volume levels. Close the screen to return to the home screen. And that's all there is to it, except for one more rather important thing. When you've finished using the auditorium, please shut the system down. This is to prolong the life of the equipment and to keep things in good working order for the next person or group that needs it. To do this, simply touch the shutdown button on the home screen. You'll get a prompt asking if you're sure. Choose yes and the shutdown sequence will begin. You'll see the projector screen go up, the projector begin its cooldown process, and the touch panel will change screens as well. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Thanks for joining us.